Hey everyone, I hope you had a great holiday season and a happy new year. I am coming to you today to give you another update of what's going on around us. Those are kind of the scary ends of it. Now there's a lot of exciting things going on. So in this video, I am going to cover what's going on in new construction. If you were looking into it, what should be your expectations? as far as the whole process. So new construction is doing great, especially here in Florida. There's a new community being built in West Palm Beach. It's called Westlake. It is enormous. It's very similar feel to like a Weston Pembroke Pines. They're gonna be building schools and have, you know, all sorts of restaurants, shopping and everything that they're being built. There's, you know, the community out in Ave Maria, which is near the Naples area. There's a ton of construction going on in St. Augustine, Jacksonville, you know, Tampa, Orlando, and of course the surrounding areas. Here specifically in South Florida, we're running out of land. So that's why a lot of these builders are going a little bit more up north, but they're still in the Miami area. So there's still projects going on, just not on the larger scale that we're seeing in the northern counties of Florida. First, I want to touch on the delivery time, which is when you select your land, buy your new, um, or go on a contract for your new property, and then when you expect, you know, to walk through that front door and say it's yours. So we've been to, you know, Westlake, Ave Maria, and, you know, a few other communities in the area. And what's going on right now is there's a lot of delays, as you guys have probably heard of with all the materials and just the demand itself, how many people are coming down, buying these newer homes. And so they have a lot of work to do and not enough time. So a lot of these delivery dates are gearing up. It can be anywhere between, you know, let's say 12 months up to 18 months. So when you are looking to, okay, I want to buy a house here in South Florida. Well, if you're looking to buy new construction and move in in a couple months, it's just not realistic. So you have to start planning. If you were looking to move, if you're looking to retire here in South Florida, is it going to be, you know, within the next year or two? Well, you may want to start looking for your spot. Now, this isn't always the case in every single spot. There might be other places do that have you know the land available that have properties that are going up and maybe the delivery time can be a little less but i'm speaking more broad and these are the common numbers that we are seeing for delivery times um, across the state second point i want to touch on is selecting your lot now as simple as it may be okay i want to go i like this lot i'm going to purchase it with the demand that's going on right now, that is totally out the door. A lot of these communities, when you go there, they want you to be pre-approved. So you have a letter from a lender stating that you will be able to purchase, you know, the property up to X amount. Um, a lot of times you can get some good incentives if you go with the lender of the builder's choice there that's, um, you know, on property, but, you know, that's totally up to you. Now... Next, what they're having you do is get into, I guess, a pool, a lottery type of system. Um, we've seen this um, up in the West Palm Beach in that new community, Westlake there. So you get on a lottery and then every you know couple weeks, um, what they'll do is they'll release lots and then you gotta go in, you gotta answer some questions and then hopefully be the first one to click on it. So it's gotta be instantaneous and if not, once the lots sell out, that's it. They're gone. You have to wait till the next lots are released. And so let's say they release 10 lots, uh, which they've been doing on like a Sunday. Those 10 lots, let's, for estimate, let's say 50 people are waiting to buy those 10 lots. Once those 10 lots are up, the next 40 people that miss out on that have to go to the next. Now, if there's other buyers that, you know, get into this system, you know, that pool can grow to 60, um, you know, two weeks later. So the demand is still there and it's tough to get a lot as of right now. Some builders are, you know, doing a, you know, highest and best. So you present your highest and best offer for the lot and you get it. 
and then some other builders are saying no this is the flat rate for the lot if you get it you get it if not you wait for the next so you have to make sure when you go um, and explore you know what builder you're dealing with because you got to know all right what am i going to be paying for these lots am i going to have to overbid for these lots and then what type of waiting system are you getting it to like I mentioned with the first point, it's not like this in all new construction areas, but this is just an overview of what it's like due to the demand. I'm hoping that here in 2022, it lessens a little bit and that you're able to come and just pick the lot that you want and not have to deal with 100 people going for the same um, place. But that is yet to be seen, so we'll see how it goes in this year. Also, one of the questions or concerns that we get that people don't know ahead of time buying new construction is that when you buy it, the prices that they have on there for the standard house or whatever it is, is the price for the house. You have to buy it a lot separate. So, you know, it could be a, a nice house and then, okay, I want this lot. Okay, well, that lot's going to cost you, you know, this many thousand and you have to bundle that together. The prices for the houses itself is just for the house, not the land that it's on. So please consider that and budget that when you were looking at new construction. The third point I want to talk about, and you know, maybe some builders don't put this out there um, because they try to get you, is the pricing of the building and the property that you're buying. So when you see, okay, wow, this this nice three two um, brand new construction home is only going for through four thirty or four fifty or something like that, that's usually the bare um, minimum. They have limited choices as far as like customizing your floors and everything that you would like. If you want nicer floors, you want nice countertops, you want, you know, there's a ton of upgrades that I could go through, but you get the idea. That's all going to be extra charges on top of that. So when budgeting out as far as, okay, what do I want to spend? What's going to be my down payment? And then now I got a budget for the lot itself. And then for the upgrades, if I want to do any upgrades, because, you know, these builders have really nice upgrades and they can do them amazing and exactly to your touch. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding, you know, what's got to be done and how to budget each of those things so that nothing catches you by surprise when you go buy your new construction property. So that's a little overview and some of the sneak peeks that I want to inform you guys about of what it's like going to buy new construction here in Florida as of right now. Now those are kind of the scary ends of it. Now there's a lot of exciting things going on. You should see the buildings that they're doing out here, um, how they're constructing them, the communities that they're building around at new schools, all the amenities that these communities include. It is absolutely amazing. There's a lot happening in Florida right now. Florida's being grown out so fast and so luxuriously that um, I'm really excited to see how it goes. If you have any questions, if you're looking to buy new construction down here in the Florida area, please give me a call. I'll be happy to walk you through some of the different projects going on and what the expectation should be for you. I hope you all get value from this video. I look forward to keeping you informed. Please feel free to reach out to me at 954-805-6370 or at guybelhomes at gmail.com. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much.